Hello zany friends, I'm back! And I have been trying to make more YouTube videos for a while and I finally got around to it. I'm still kind of playing around with my background a little bit, so if it seems a little wonky, I'm sorry. Today's video is going to be my July TBR. And I have just a small sampling of books that I am trying to read for this month, but since I am very much a mood reader, it's hard for me to pin it down. So these ones are ones that I know for a fact I will be reading. The first one is kind of a little bit of a shameless plug. We have a book club that we run on Fable, my brother and I do, and it is called the Elated Geek Book Club. Uh, I'm going to put a little screenshot right here, but if you go ahead and search Elated Geek on the Fable app, you'll be able to find us. This month we are reading The Only One Left by Riley Sager. I do not have my copy yet because I got it from Book in the Month, so it is on its way, but I love Riley Sager. I read every one of his books, and this book is about a nurse who is working with a woman who is trying to tell her story about an incident that happened in her past. It sounds great and I cannot wait to start reading it. If you want to join us, make sure you check out uh, the Fable app. Next we have Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Uh, this book has been sold out everywhere and I decided I wanted to do this as a buddy read with my friend Erin. You can find her over on Instagram under talk book nerdy to me. I will leave her information below so you can just go find her. But we do a buddy read every month and she said she was reading this and I was like, great, now I gotta find it. I just ended up getting it on Kindle so that I could read it with her. But I, from everything I've heard about it, everyone loves this book. It is a story of like a dragon academy where it's not the dragons who are attending it, but it's like the people who are training to fly dragons are going to this academy uh, and that's all I know about it. I have really tried to stay away from any major spoilers or anything that has to do with this book primarily for that reason because I just want to be surprised and I want to enjoy the ride. Are you reading this book? Please let me know because I would love to know who all is reading the book this month. The next book I have is one I actually got from an author and it's called uh, Dating and Dismemberment and it's by A.L. Brody. So this book has said that it's kind of like Emily Henry meets Grady Hendrix, but it's about a ghost who haunts a camp, but then she has to, for whatever reason, stop haunting the camp. So she has to fill her time and she ends up reading romance novels and uh, then something happens that kind of turns her life upside down. I mean, <laughs> the story itself was enough for me to go, yeah, I'll read this. <laughs> this is really interesting. Um, so if you are interested in this book as well, it is available on Kindle Unlimited uh, so that you can try it out. But um, of course, just make sure that you're following me on TikTok because I do give a lot of my reviews there as well. The next book is Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. I got this book from both NetGalley and Macmillan Audio, so I'm going to be reading and listening at the same time. And it is a story of a woman who has face blindness. And I'm actually really interested to read about this story when it has to do with that because to me that's just a fascinating topic but a lot of people who have already read this book have said it's very interesting and they like it a lot so can't wait to jump into this rom-com. My next book is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. Now this book uh was actually given to me to read by uh NetGalley and I also got it on Libro. I'm an influencer with them as well and this is a story of a wedding planner who has to work with her ex-boyfriend and also, there's like a reality TV crew that's involved in the specific wedding that they have to plan. So uh, sounds fantastic. Sounds like a great summer read. I am here for it and ready. This next one sounds absolutely fantastic for a summer read. It's called The Block Party by Jamie Day. Got this one also from NetGalley and Macmillan Audio. So again, doing a hybrid kind of reading of it. But it's about a murder that happens during a block party. And... Uh, 
summer fun. Here I come. I'm ready for a thriller. I've been kind of having this really weird book slump lately, so I am really ready to read something that's going to excite me and propel me forward. And this one I've just been waiting for, so hopefully it does. Next, I have These Vicious Games by Joelle Wellington. I actually just started reading this, and it is kind of dark academia. From what I can understand, it's about a girl who was supposed to go to Yale and she made a mistake and all of her college acceptances got taken away from her and I haven't really figured out what happened yet but so far I just want to dive back into the book so after I'm done filming I'm probably gonna do that. I really like dark academia books so this one so far it it's it's giving me vibes and I love it. And the last book that I am for sure reading this month is The Legacies by Jessica Goodman. So this was sent to me by uh, Booksbark but I also have it on NetGalley um, because I love Jessica Goodman so much. I just finished reading They Wish They Were Us. I loved The Counselors last year. So I am ready for this one. I have noticed that like very similarly to the They Wish They Were Us, it's about a scholarship girl who is trying to get in with like this elite group of people and they're trying to make it. I've noticed it's kind of a like theme, not just in Jessica Goodman's books lately, but also uh, These Vicious Games is kind of the same theme in a way. So uh, very interested in this. Again, YA thriller ready. I'm here for it and I cannot wait to read. So that's all of the books that I'm for sure reading for July. What about you? I'm really interested to know what you guys are reading as well. Please let me know if any of these are being read and if you want to know my reviews as they come make sure you check out my other social media channels down below where I do a review for each book I read. And thank you for joining us uh, and welcome back if you have been a longtime subscriber here and as always stay zany.